Hello, everyone, and welcome to the DPB podcast. This is episode number 39 for the week of May 2nd, 2016. Lots and lots happening. It is great to be part of the initial podcast for uh, Disney Pins Blog. Disney Pins Blog podcast. Of the Disney Pins Blog. The Disney Pins Blog. The Disney Pins Blog podcast. We hope to hear all about it. Welcome back, everyone. It is Ryan and Matt with Disney Pins Blog. How's it going, guy? It's going good. It's going good. It's uh, one one hell of a week. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. Yeah, that. that's why the podcast <laughs> is going up a little late yeah, this week. It is. Little, been, it's uh, going to be a little super... late. Yeah, we're, we're filming this Monday evening instead of Sunday or Saturday, where we typically try to do it. Yep. I was it's... at a pin event over the weekend, and Matt, I know you were busy with stuff, so we. Uh, but here we are. So. Yep. I guess we'll just jump right in, right? Uh, yeah. You, uh, tell us quickly about your uh, your pin event over in Jersey. I know you, that's where uh, that's where uh, you did. Yeah. So I went uh, to the it's a the Central Jersey Pin Traders Group, um, which is in I forget. I think it's like Somerset, New Jersey. It's in Central Jersey, and uh, twice a year they do a, a bigger weekend long event. This one was called Trade Till You Fade. Oh. <laughs> and there's another one in October called Trade. Um, to you drop or something. I don't know. But okay. I went uh, Friday night. It started at 7 p.m. And I traded there until about midnight. Oh. And then went, went back on Saturday all day long from like 11 till midnight. Did uh, a lot of good trades. Um, and then it was also on Sunday as well, but I didn't go to the Sunday portion. But I was happy with the trades I got. I got a lot of nice Tower of Terror pins and Pirates of the Caribbean pins. So I was uh, pretty excited about that. I'm not. I've never heard of midnight pin trading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty cool. I guess they the, they, they had a, a nice turnout too. I'd say about good. I don't know, maybe like fifty to seventy five people. So oh, that's that's really good. Yeah. And uh, and they, was it active throughout the whole night or the whole day? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Pretty much everyone just stayed for the whole dang time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they, they brought food in too, which is nice. Okay, that, that, that's worth it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, good. I'm glad I had a good time. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I happened to finally go to Disney uh, after for like I haven't been since March, so I was able to get over there. <laughs> You're deprived. So I know you. I am. Um, I've been so busy, and um, but I was able to see the the Star Wars fireworks finally. So that was amazing. I, I I really liked it. So good. It was really good. It was really good. Uh, I think that was pretty much a highlight. I get like a couple of a couple of pin trading over over at uh, Magic Kingdom. And uh, I, I, we saw the new interactive ending of It's a Small World and A Haunted Mansion. Which oh, nice. Were, they have, like, the more interaction. Like, I think they say your name or, like, your name is there at the end of It's a Small World. And then, they, they like, the, the hitchhiker's ghosts are doing more things. So that's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't did the uh, Small World one yet. But I was on Mansion, but I, uh, I missed it. Oh, okay. So I'll have to do it again. So. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so we're going to do a little, uh, little something different this week. Uh, we're going to start over with the park happenings, and then we're going to work our way over to Disney Pins. Uh, we'll explain a little bit more about why we're doing this this way later in the podcast, but I will say it does have something to do with the Pixar pin event and uh, uh, the Pixar pin part or the park, the Pixar party pin event. And uh, we it's are going to be talking. Yeah, it is hard to say. A lot of P's. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be talking about that later on the show, but just a four one, we are going to get to it. But before then, I'm going to get to some news here. First of all, Disney uh, announced new attractions coming to Tokyo Disney Resort, planning on the Beauty and a Beast attraction as well as Big Hero 6 attraction. So that's pretty nice. I think they're going to have a very similar setup to how Beauty the Beast is set up here in Disney World. Uh, really, uh, similar setup, like they're going to present the castle, uh, a restaurant, and but this time they're going to have an actual ride, and we're going to be spinning on some teacups. But I think we're going to be going through the story of Beauty and the Beast inside teacups, and that's our. That's track. neat. That's pretty cool. That's cool. And then I was excited about the yeah. We're probably going to talk about here the Big Hero Six one. Oh yes, yeah, the Big Hero Six ride. Based on the photo, it uh, it looks like maybe bumper cars a, a, more of a family attraction maybe I, I don't think it's bumper cars but i don't, I don't really know what I it think, is i think you're riding on baymax's back which is kind of cool oh okay. looks like you're riding on him yeah i see <laughs> I, I, uh, kind yeah, <laughs> of uh, maybe 
Anyway, uh, either way, nonetheless, it's cool. Yeah, yes, it does look cool. Looks like it's it's, it's it spins around. I mean, maybe to very similar to the teacups rod here, and uh, and yeah, they're setting up more um, meet and greets over at uh, Disneyland Tokyo or Tokyo Disney, and uh, over at Tokyo Disney Sea, they'll be adding a soaring attraction over at the uh, Mediterranean mm. Harbor area. So first time soaring is going to be over in Tokyo. So that's pretty mm. cool as well. That's neat. I didn't know that. Uh, so yeah, more cool. news coming from there. Uh, Epcot over the summer is offering a three course prefix. Uh, it's it's a it's a three course fixed price lunch over at the uh, uh, Tattoo's Italia Rush Rush to the Italia. There you go. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, I love that place. Yeah, so starting from May uh, May second, so today. Uh, through August 28th, so throughout the entire summer, you can have uh, lunch, and they will give you uh, one drink, an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert for only twenty-seven dollars plus tax. Jeez, that, that's really good. That is a steal. I've never yeah, seen Disney do some crazy. type of deal like that. That's a nicer restaurant too. It, it, is it really? Yeah, I, I've never been there before, is. but this deal will make me go to that restaurant for thirty bucks. Yeah, that, that's, that's awesome. You got a whole a whole whole meal there. I mean, yeah. you have to choose uh, a certain appetizers and main courses and desserts, but for thirty bucks, it's worth a try. Definitely, you can't really argue with that. So that's over at Epcot starting May second through August twenty eighth. Throughout the entire summer, you get an appetizer, uh, a soft drink, a main course, and a dessert. Can't beat it. Uh, moving on from there, moving over to Hollywood Studios. Farewell to the Earful Tower. Just over the week, this past weekend, they they took it down. And Maybe we'll get a piece of history pin though. I, I I'm waiting for it. You might. You never know. You're right. Uh, I it was it was announced earlier this year that they were going to take it down, but I guess they never knew. We never knew when, and I guess they never really gave us a date. They just one one day it was up there, the next day within the night it was gone. I can't believe they took that down in the night. That's mm-hmm. crazy. That is it is. And one really, night it's gone. Yeah, one night. It's 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 insane. Yeah. But uh, that's uh, that's what it is, unfortunately. And so goodbye to the Earful Tower. And hello, maybe we might be getting a new landmark, or maybe the uh, Tower of Terror might be our new our new Hollywood Studios landmark. Uh, yeah, I think it is for the time being. Which for the time I'm, being, I'm not complaining. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sticking over to Hollywood Studios, they are doing a uh, the Star Wars Force for Change is coming back to Disney Parks. I know Ryan, you bought the pin. I bought the pin last year. Yeah. Uh, uh, I actually just commented today on Disney Parks blog and asked them if they're doing a pin for this one. Oh, okay. I guess we'll find out yeah. soon, hopefully. Yeah, they haven't responded, but we'll see. Um, this year, as of right now, for to uh, contribute to Force for Change, they're giving out the first merchandise for Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And they, um, it, uh, it's a very simple shirt. It's black, and it says Rogue One on the front of it. Just like the logo, if you've seen the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. And then this says on the on the sleeve, it's a Star Wars Force for Change. And um, so that's going to be available at Disneyland and Disney World. And Disneyland is going to be at the Star Wars Launch Bay, as well as the downtown Disney District. And in uh, Disney World, it's going to be in uh, at Hollywood Studios, at the Tatooine Traders in the Star Wars Launch Bay, at Disney Springs, at the Star Wars Galactic Outpost in the Once Upon a Toy, and at Magic Kingdom at the Merchandise of Venice. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I think uh, it's just there for a limited time. Too, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, it's there for a limited time. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm unaware as of right now what Force for Change. I forgot what charity it goes to. Do you, are you familiar with it? I, I want to say UNICEF, like the the children's uh, charity, but I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Okay, I, I really don't. I'm not 100. percent Either way, I think this is like this the uh, Star Wars's charities they want to promote to, and so this is. Uh, yeah. I think when we when we buy the shirt, I'm pretty sure all the proceeds go to um, goes to that charity. So that yeah, is, or at uh, least a percentage does. I know that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, 25 percent of the retail price of the product will be donated to the U.S. Fund of the UNICEF uh, mm. to support the UNICEF Kid Power. Uh, it gives kids the power to save lives. So 
That very is cool. Awesome. Yeah, very cool that Disney's doing that. Yep. Uh, <laughs> kind of funny news, and I'm not really surprised to hear this either. Disney After Hours is getting great reviews, but not a lot of people want to pay for it. Uh, $150 yeah. is, is, is definitely pricey. So <laughs> what they did was <laughs> – I'm still laughing about this. I know. They, they cut the price in half for Disney annual pass holders as well as Disney Vacation Club members. So instead of paying $150, you're paying $75. I think that's for me. That's shocking, but again, it's not. But it is because Disney doesn't do those type of drastic changes unless they need to. Right. And the fact that they had to cut it down to seventy five, it clearly shows that people that it's not. A lot of people aren't going there. They're not filling up. Right. They need to like push people to go to this event while while it's uh, while it's open. The next night is uh, April. I mean, I'm sorry. The next night is May fifth, eighth, twelfth, and the nineteenth. So it, to to me, it just seems kind of, kind of dumb for an annual pass holder to pay. You have an annual pass; you can go anytime you want. I don't I don't know why you pay seventy five dollars for those three extra hours in the park. But yeah, I mean, I guess I, if you really want to. Well, I guess if you really want those free drinks and uh, and those desserts, I think I think that's what that's worth seventy five dollars. If you ask yeah. me, <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, so that's what Disney's doing. If you are interested and you don't agree with us, uh, and if you are a Disney, Disney annual pass holder, DV, uh, Disney Vacation Club member, it is seventy five dollars. If you are not any of those, then it's still one hundred and fifty dollars for three hours of extra time in the park. Uh, there's also rumors that uh, which this is interesting uh, that Disney vacation for Disney Vacation Club members is planning and. Uh, an exclusive Independence Day dessert party on Sunday, July 3rd. I don't think mm. this is official yet, but if it is, the event will be held on, like I said, July 3rd. The event will be held from 8 to 10 p.m. at the Disney's Contemporary Resort Convention Center, and okay. tickets are only $35 for okay. adults and $22 for uh, children. So that's a pretty nice what? thing. Oh, sorry? What's it? Um, I guess. Are, what are you in one of the conference rooms there? Like, what do they have in? I, I guess it says the uh, convention center. Uh, I can't pronounce his name. Porty Chotri. Hmm. It's one. I'm assuming it's one of the convention area there. Okay. Uh, with with a nice view of the fireworks. Of all gotcha. This yeah. It's, it's a dessert party. So hmm. it's not in Magic Kingdom, but it's just right outside, and it's just right outside for thirty five dollars. I guess for a nice view and dessert, I guess that's not too bad of a price. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too. Because bad you don't enough. get out of the crowds too. Yeah, exactly. And you can just like <clears throat> oh, I'm eat, finish eating my cake and uh, calmly walk down <laughs> to my car. Yeah. Uh, and last but not least, uh, starting the earlier this or earlier this year, they closed down the Fulton Crab uh, House, and they're doing a large refurb, and that is opening back up in the fall. Uh, unknown the exact date, but it's supposed to be back in the fall, and uh, they are renaming it. It's no longer going to be called Fulton's Crab House. It's going to be called Paddlefish. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I, I don't know why the name changed. I don't know if I'm assuming they're they're keeping the boat. They're just changing the name, which is interesting. Yeah, it's a unique name, I guess. Uh, along with the the new name, is going to be new decor, a new rooftop, and an hmm. outdoor bar. More a more of a modern theme. Uh, so I'm excited they're... about that outdoor bar. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. And um, they have they don't have an outdoor bar in the hangar bar, do they? Yeah, there's a little uh, side, like patio oh, side. There is? Okay, I'm pretty sure bar. this one be a lot bigger because yeah. this is a bigger boat. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, but that is all the news I have today, right? Oh wow! Okay, yeah, I'd say it's short and sweet. Uh, that was quick. Yeah, it was quick. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm, I'm saving all the time for the. For the big stuff at the end. The there. big one. Yeah, do, we, yeah. do we want to get right into Pixar Party now, or wait for the end? No, no. Let's wait for the end. Let's get through these uh, these pin news first. All right. Cool. All right, so first we're going to um, start it off with the, uh, I know we're out of April already, but the Park Pack, I received mine uh, last week, um, and they should be shipped to everyone who has that subscription service. Um, so the April 2016 Park Pack featured three um, different pins. The one, the LE pin uh, was Tangled, so it, was, it was, had Rapunzel on it with Pascal, and there's four different variants of that pin. <clears throat> I believe it's LE um, 500. Yeah, because they keep switching them from 750 to 500. Um, but this Rapunzel one's 500. And there's two open edition Mickey Mouse pin. One is a rainbow Mickey Mouse um, 
just the colors of the rainbow. It's like a silhouette. And the other one is a uh, American Mickey Mouse. It um, has him in his classic pose. Uh, it says State 1928. has American flag in the background. Um, so both of those Mickey Mouse pins will be available in the parks at Disneyland and Walt Disney World uh, soon. And, of course, the Tangled pin is exclusive to the park pack. Did you end up uh, liking any of these from this set? Yeah, I um, the Rapunzel one's pretty cool. I, I used to collect uh, a, a couple Tangled pins, but I end up okay. trading trade them off. I'm going to keep this one, and I do like the American Mickey one. Okay, uh, so two out of so, three yeah. isn't bad. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Um, next, we want to talk about the Pocket Watch pins. This is These are the new Purchase with Purchase pins. Uh, you may recall... Um, uh, the previous ones were train pins. They had characters mm-hmm. on top of trains. So these are the pins when you're at Disney Springs or over at Disneyland at the Pin Trader store and you spend $30, you have the option of getting a black mystery bag for $3.95 and you get a pin in it. These are those pins, those surprise mystery pins in, inside those bags. Um, we have pictures up, up on the website of all the different pocket watch pins. They feature various Disney characters. And um, these have been out now for a few months, but just got around to um, I when I actually when I was down there about a week ago, I I saw the sign outside the pin chairs, and it just reminded me of of the purchase with purchase pins. So we have a blog post up on the site for those pins. I think it's a really unique um, a set there. I do like this a lot more than the train set. Um, yeah. I I just wonder because I know Disney doesn't do anything by uh, by accident. Um, I wonder what the why are they pointing at specific times during the like each character is pointing at a particular oh, yeah. time, um, like uh, like Stitch he's pointing at six and nine. So is it? I mean I don't know which one's the big hand, which one's the little hand. It's really hard to right. tell. Yeah, but, it is. Uh, but I wonder why they're pointing at that specific time. Maybe it maybe might reference a year. I don't know. But uh, that'd be interesting to yeah. uh, maybe dive into some. Uh, research there i might go into some research and uh get back to you and maybe i might be able yeah. to find why the, they're pointing at those uh, those times yeah there could be a reason behind it mm-hmm. um i did see these in person actually over the weekend at the oh. pin event i went to and they're much smaller in person oh really okay yeah but they're still really nice pins yeah i like them a lot accessory yeah. for 399 i mean yeah, uh, I, w- w- when you're going to disney you're bound to spend 30 dollars at, at one point so you might as well spend an extra four and get one of these really cool pins definitely um, next, the Star Wars Day 2016 pin was released at uh, Disney Store over the weekend. So every year, Disney Store um, gives a, away a free Disney uh, or Star Wars pin um, for the like. Last year it was Force Friday. This year they were giving away on two different days. One was Sunday, May 1st, and the other one is coming up this week on Wednesday, May. May the fourth, and uh, <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> yeah, what do you know? So we um, actually went on uh, on Sunday in New Jersey. We went to the Disney store there, and the first fifty guests in line, whoever, if you make to make a purchase, or receive the uh, Bubba Fat pin. Um, it was a nice pin. Um, I got it, and uh, it was free. I actually I didn't even buy anything at Disney store. I ended up buying oh, no. just, just a gift card. Because I figured I could use that at at, the, at Disney World when I go down. Yeah, why not? Because <laughs> yeah, there wasn't anything I really wanted, so I just got a mm-hmm. gift card, and then I got the free pin. So it's a nice it's a nice size pin, and uh, yeah, if you want, you can still go on this Wednesday um, to your local Disney store to uh, to get this pin. Very nice. Yeah, I would go a little bit early though, um, because when I went, we went right when the store opened, and there was a, I would say yeah, maybe like twenty thirty people. Uh, they're already so. Wow! So probably within the uh, hour, it's already gone. Yeah, especially at the more popular Disney stores. Mm. So, uh, next over at Disney Studio Store Hollywood, the uh, new Pin Trader Delights flipped over there. Uh, I know some of these are actually already sold out, I believe, but um, four new pins were released over there. Uh, one was Billy Robinson from Meet the Robinsons. LE400. There's a Mr. Winky from The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Wow. And then there was, yeah. <laughs> they pulled that one out of the, <laughs> yeah. the roof. Who the heck is that? <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't even know about Billy Robinson either. I'm like, who are those two? That's yeah. really strange, but you know, it's. Yeah. And next was Flick from A Bug's Life. We all know him. Yep. Uh, next, next was Baloo from 
Uh, the Jungle Book. The uh, the animated version. I'm assuming the flick and the Baloo are the ones that are sold out. I, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't. Are, I don't think, I think there's a high demand on Mr. Winky. No. In... They'll be sitting for a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they might, or they might, you know, take the plunge and just go ahead and get them, and then they can flip them again. So yeah. who knows? Uh, next, there was a new booster uh, pin set released at Disney Parks and in the Shop Parks mobile app. Uh, this one's actually pretty popular. It's the Disney Babies pin set. So if you recall, um, it was a few months ago maybe or even close to a year ago, there was a two-on-a-card pin set. It was an Anna and an Elsa feature oh, as babies. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is kind of part of that collection. Okay, okay, nice. So there's four pins for this booster pin set. There's a Bambi, Stitch, Cheshire Cat, and Simba. And the retail price is $24.95. And you can get those on both coasts at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And, of course, like I just said, in the Shop Parks mobile app. So if you can't make it to the parks, you can just purchase it uh, on your phone. It was so funny. I when I, I was able to get to the park. And it's not very often where I get to uh, showcase – I get to find pins before I see it on the site. And mm. so I took a photo and I was all excited about to send it to you. And then I went on the site and you already posted it. Which one was it? It was the, these pins right here. Oh, was it really? Yeah, yeah. It was like, I missed it by a day. I'm like, ah, oh, uh, I'll get them next so, yeah, time. Yeah, I'm good at this. Yeah, you are. You're beating me. And I, I live here. <laughs> I know. But it's it's a really nice set. I do like uh, the detail in it. Like like the Stitch one in particular, he's holding a, like the, the thing in the middle is a guitar. Looks like it's holding a blanket together. With Bambi, it's a flower, uh, which a shower cat is like a lollipop and with uh, Simba's a butterfly. So it, it really correlates with what the character is. It's really nice. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's, I would personally go after these, but I definitely a lot of people, as you said, they're popular, you said? Yeah, my, myself, I personally went and buy them, but um, when I when I posted them on social, a lot of people, there, there was a big, uh, um, I don't know the words. Yeah, liking to them, yeah. Okay, cool, so. awesome. Yeah. Uh, heading back over to Disney Studio Store Hollywood, we have a pin release coming up this week on Friday. Uh, May 6th. It is all Captain America Civil War themed. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> You're excited about those, Matt. I am, but you know what? I, and I'm upset because I'm, I'm not entirely sold on the pins. I, mm. I'm, I'm not feeling the pins about these, but I'm, I'm so excited for the movie. But these yeah. pins look amazing. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if, if, if they were here in Florida, I'm not sure if I would go after these. But the fact that they uh, – probably the one I like is the El Capitan uh, Captain The America. marquee pin? Yeah, the marquee yeah, pin. I really like that's, that one. That's really nice. And then you have the team cap and then the silhouettes of within cap. You have the his his team and then the same. You have a team Stark. And within uh, the image of uh, Cat Iron Man, you have the characters as well. And then you have two heads, uh, a pack, two a two pack, one with Captain America, one with Ant Man, another one with Iron Man and Black Panther. So um, I think there's four, five. There are five different sets. One, two, yeah, five, if, yeah, five different pins there. Yep. Yeah, awesome. And the retail price for those vary from LE three hundred to LE four hundred, and the prices vary from sixteen ninety five to twenty nine ninety five, depending on the pin that you want. Uh, and then later on this month, on May twenty seventh. It's Alice Through the Looking Glass pin release. Five different pins there, all low LEs, 300, 400s. Um, pretty cool looking pins there, but um, I don't think I'm going to go see that movie. Just, really? Yeah. I mean, I think I'll see it eventually. I'm not thrilled about it, but I mean, as far as the pin goes, I do like the marquee pin again, the El Capitan yeah. one. It looks really cool. You have the 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 clocks and the, um, and the hats as well, so that is yep. awesome. Yeah, that is, that is a nice looking pin. All right, next we have new Acme Disney pin releases for May 2016. We uh, got the flyer, so we posted that on the site as well. Uh, four LE Jumbo, LE 100 Jumbo pins for May. The first one is called Grapes and Burgundy, which I really, really like. It's, I like uh, it, yeah. It has it's like it's a, a cool pin. Uh, Mickey and, and Minnie are in a uh, vineyard picking grapes, it looks like. Um, so I think that one's really neat. Looks like a very. It feels like they're like in the Italian. Aspect. Yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then next, there's a uh, Chip and uh, Miss Potts um, pin. It's called Tenderness. That one releases on May eighth. 
And then next is Marie's music from the Aristocats. She's sitting on top of a book with a bunch of music sheets. And then the final one on May 22nd is another Rapunzel pen. Uh, it's called Rapunzel's Daydream. It's her uh, painting on the wall in her room. And uh, her hair is flowing down, and it looks like Pascal's in her hair. So that's kind of yeah. It looks like <laughs> looks like the the background look. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's in a room. I, yeah. I really I really do like that pin as well. It's very it really speaks to the whole the whole movie and the scene and all that. So that's good too. Yep. And they all look like they have the pin on pin design. So mm-hmm. really really nice pins there. Um, moving on, we um. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably going to go into the uh, pin releases for this week coming up, and then actually let's talk about our the anniversary, the big anniversary. Okay. Yes. Uh, I thought we were going to talk about that later. You want you, let's finish let's finish the pin news first. All right. Let's we'll, we'll, yeah, let's for the because yeah. there's something I want to mention about that because I don't think a lot of people know about it, and it's still going on. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's all right. So, there. all right. Next in the pin news for this week, uh, new pin releases. First, at a Disneyland, we have an exclusive annual pass holder pin. This is part of the quarterly Pixar collection. It features Cars Land, and it looks like it's a hinge pin, LE3000, and it's available this Thursday on May 5th. Uh, and then next, we have all these shared pin releases at Disneyland and Walt Disney World this week. First, we have a Star Wars Day pin. Uh, this one says, um, may the 4th be with you. And it's a limited release pin. Um, it kind of has like a silhouette of Luke Skywalker, or it could be um, Poe. Uh, right? I, I think it's more. I, I think it's more Luke Skywalker than Luke Poe. Skywalker. Yeah, okay. I, I would assume it's uh, a rebel fighter. It's a rebel fighter. Yeah, he's in. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool pin. And then the following day on May fifth, it's uh, the Revenge of the Fifth pin which is another limited release and this is a uh, circular pin with a silhouette of Darth Vader and it looks like the Death Star in the background right? Uh, yep yeah, that's what it is. So pretty cool there. And then next we're getting into the Captain America Civil War pins released at the Disney Parks. First we have uh, two limited release um, pins and they say whose side are you on? Uh, one features Captain America and the other one is Iron Man right? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, um, okay. is that is that one? Is that two separate pins? I believe so. I'm okay. not 100, percent but I think it's two on a card. Two pins on a oh, card. So it's the same card, but two different pins. Yeah, and the right. retail price for that's probably around fifteen dollars. So mm, okay, that's a uh, limited release pin as well. Uh, another one we have the just the logo pin. Um, it's. Like kind of like a split head. It's just hard to explain. You just have to see the picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, <laughs> but, uh, it's a split. We have one half of a uh, half of a head of Iron Man, the other half of Captain America, and right down the middle it says Civil War. It is an odd pin, and that's why, like I was saying earlier, I'm not sold on yeah. these Captain America Civil War pins. I, I was really, I really liked the pins last year that came out with Age of Ultron, Avengers. I'm a little okay. bit disappointed with these because I really do like getting Marvel pins, but. If this yeah. is what they're going to come out with, then I'm I'm not going to put my money on it, unfortunately. All right. And then next we have a uh, Civil War Crossbones pen. Um, this is another limited release available this week on May 5th. And then uh, finally, we have the uh, just the annual Graduation Day pen um, released at both parks, and it has Mickey Mouse holding a Diploma of Excellence. At the bottom, it says graduation 2016, and that pin is limited edition of 2000. I really like this pin. I uh, think you need that, right? I, yeah, well, I'm graduating in December. Okay. So, so I still have one more semester to go, but technically, this will be my graduation year 2016. All right. So I guess I would need to get this pin in order for it to make sense. And when I look back and, you know, when I look back at these pins, I just like the fact that he's taking a selfie with his diploma. I oh, yeah, that, I was wondering, wondering yeah, what that is, but yeah, I guess that is so funny. That's literally what what we're doing yeah. all the time. It's just like selfie. Uh, we just got it. We just graduated, which is fun. It's just so fun. I like it. Yeah. So uh, definitely a pin. I'll be picking that one up. Yep. So those are the new pin releases for this week. Um, now should we jump into uh, Pixar Party? And uh, when uh, anniversary or? Uh, let's talk about our anniversary. Three years. Okay. Three year anniversary. That's insane. That's, yeah, that's May, May 1st on uh, Sunday, May 1st was three years of DisneyPinsBlog.com. So Woo! pretty crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. And I, I've been there for one year of it at least. 
Yep. Uh, yeah, I've yep. been there for a year, and you've been doing this for two years. So what what uh what, what's been going on? That uh, what do you got in store for our three year uh, anniversary, Ryan? Yeah, so we put a blog post up just like a thank you. I you know try to do that every um every anniversary just to thank you for all the the readers for following along and all of the support. We really do appreciate it. Um, so we like to give back. We do giveaways usually monthly on the website, but this is a special giveaway we're doing for the three year anniversary. It's actually the most recent. Um, piece of Walt Disney World history pin, which is uh, Snow White's Scary Adventure. This is a limited edition of uh, 1500 pin, I think. So, um, really, really cool. I haven't really even advertised it too much on social. I actually haven't at all. I just put the blog post up. Um, so, we wanted to really announce it on the podcast here um, before we start really promoting it and stuff. So, um, head over. You can head over to the giveaways and raffles page to enter. Mm-hmm. That giveaway, all you have to do is comment on the uh, on the page DPB3. So the directions are on that page. That's all you got to do. And uh, I believe we have it ending on Thursday. Yeah. Um, so we'll uh, select a winner and we'll just – we use random.org to select a winner. And uh, we'll email you if you win. And uh, if you if you happen to be one of the listeners, well, Ryan said he would email you, but I guess we can also announce the winner on the podcast next week. Yeah, definitely. This, we'll yeah. announce on the podcast as well. Yep. Cool. But it's not exclusive to the podcast. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Not, not this time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. We should do an exclusive podcast one now. We, you know, we, we should. We should. We should. We'll, we'll, we'll think about that over the summer. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. Now we're going to the big daddy of them all. Uh, yeah, the Pixar pin event. As, as literally as soon as we talked about it, the next day after the podcast, they released all the information we needed to know about this so let's dive right into the pixar party celebrating 30 years of pixar i can't wait ryan you bought your ticket i did i bought it right at yeah. two o'clock so, right same, on the dot same here i heard I, you got the breakfast too right i, I did yeah I, I i also got the breakfast and i heard that through i was reading through facebook uh it was sold out within seven minutes the breakfast yep yeah, I heard that as well, which That's is insane. crazy. It, Let it, me tell you, I've been going to these these annual Walt Disney World events now for about four years. I think it's my fourth or fifth year. And I think this has been the most hype that I've seen, especially wow. along the breakfast. Usually the breakfast, you, you, it doesn't sell out. With, right. you know, it sells out within the day, but not in seven minutes. It's crazy. That's insane. So let's just dive right into it. So uh, starting Thursday, April uh, April, so yeah, last Thursday, April twenty eighth is the uh, at two p.m. You can start registering for the Pixar pin event. You can the breakfast is unfortunately sold out, but you can still register for for the event. It starts Friday, August twenty sixth, from ten a.m. to six thirty p.m. and on Saturday, August twenty seventh, nine thirty a.m. to six p.m. Admission is. $140 per guest and within that $140 uh, why don't you tell them what, what you get Ryan within the $140 yeah you get access to the trading boards which is were my favorite because you can get a lot of AP and PP pins and LE pins on the boards um, that's four vouchers per day which is, is plenty when, you, when you're there because <laughs> you are standing in line and you're doing other mm. things as well there's a Pixar Party scavenger hunt, which is totally new, so I'm not even exactly 100% sure what that's all about. Uh, that, uh, that, that'll be interesting. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking cool. forward to that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is, but I like it. I know. Cool. It sounds cool. There's the uh, op- the auction opportunity, which they have every year. Um, a lot of really, really nice pin sets and stuff that you can uh, place a, um, a bid on. There's uh, you can meet the Disney pin merchandisers, and you can like um, have them sign the back of your pins. Or I'm sorry, that's the artist signing. So that was the next bullet point. Uh, this is part of the Disney Design Group artists. Um, they uh, you can have them sign the back of your pins, and then you get a one thirty dollar Disney gift card. So really, in reality, you're paying one hundred and ten. Yeah, exactly. Um, the offer also includes an opportunity to pre-purchase uh, the Pixar pin, uh, Pixar Party merchandise uh, via random selection process. You get a limited edition commemorative gift. Gifts, which is a welcome pin, the Pixar Party Scavenger Hunt six pin gift set, and the Goofy Good. Oh, I'm sorry, not the Goofy. The Goodbye, yeah. <laughs> the Goodbye pin set, which is really cool as well. So literally within the hundred and forty dollars, you get uh, eight pins, mm-hmm. 
and the $30 gift card as well as pin trading. So really you're spending $110 for six pins and a good time. Yeah. And, it's a two day, a nice two day event. And a nice I think two day it's event. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, for those of you who got the breakfast, it's called Little Chef Pin Breakfast. So I'm assuming it has a maybe Ratatouille theme, Little Chef. Yep. And uh, you get a breakfast buffet. You get trading time inside the par- Pixar Party venue from 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. And you get a limited edition commemorative pin as well. I'm assuming another Ratatouille themed. So that is awesome so if you are interested like us then we are ex- extremely excited for this event go register right now um it's all the information to do that is on the website yep and and uh we'll be uh, of course covering the whole weekend we'll be doing our vlogs and we'll mm-hmm. be on social and stuff lots yep. of video coming to the youtube channel so oh, yeah all right and you know what time it is huh i think i do <laughs> you think you know what time it is I think so. All right, all right. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, shoot. It's fun segment with Matt time. <laughs> all right, it's our favorite time of the show. Fun segment with Matt time. Yeah, buddy. And so in honor of the Pixar pin event, we are actually going to go. And for those who are for those who are watching on YouTube, you get a little bit more of a treat because you actually get to see the pins uh, that we're going to be talking about right now. But for those on the podcast, we're going to do our best to describe the pin as we uh, as we are talking about them, as we usually do. But we're going to talk about all the pins that the Pixar event has to offer. So are you uh, are you ready to get to dive into it? I am. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So first, uh, the Pixar party th- they're celebrating 30 years. Let's get down. We're we're scrolling through the merch merchandise catalog page in the great detail. So item number one, the pass holder commemorative collection. Pixar Insight, limited edition of 500, retail price 16.99. It features Flick holding his uh, looks like a, a, a telescope, not really, not a tele- well, very similar to a telescope. Yeah. And he's like he's ready to go with his backpack on, and he has his uh, looks like is it, which is really funny because it's called Pixar Insight. And in the the bubble of the microphone glass, if you look closely, it it has the Pixar Animation Studio in. In, in the glass, so it looks like he's looking at Pixar, which is really cool. That is an eight pin. And of course, his hand is a is on a hinge, so it's a movable pin. Yes, it is. That is awesome. Uh, moving on, this is probably the first pin I'm definitely going to be collecting. Right Same here. here. Oh, I like this I, pin I love a this lot. Pin so much. Uh, limit. Uh, it's called the thirty. Uh, it it's it's called the Pixar Party logo pin. It has it features Woody and Buds on a brick background, uh, holding up a sign that says thirty. Uh, the three and then the zero is a Pixar ball, uh, and then it says thirty years and beyond Pixar Party. Um, limited edition size one thousand. Retail price fourteen ninety nine. It is a beautiful pin. I really want this one in particular. If I walk out with none, and I only can walk out with one, I think this one would be the it for me. Yeah, it's a nice pin. I really like that. We have a good chance of getting it, too. It's LE1000. Yeah, so. yeah. So hopefully that would work out in our benefit. Uh, item number three, the Pixar from the Vault collection. There's there's four in this. It looks like you, these are purchased per, uh, separately, but yep. uh, it's I think it's part of the whole set. So the first mm-hmm. one features Wally limited edition size. All these are going to be limited edition size 750, and the retail price is going to be 15.99. So it looks like it's it's a hinge pin. Oh, on the front of it, it has it looks like a vault, and it says Disney's Pixar, and then then the name of the movie. In this case, it's Wally. When you open it up, it shows a scene from the movie. In this case, for Wally is is the scene where he is holding the umbrella for Eve when she is uh, not awake, uh, mm-hmm. still on Earth, which is a nice pin. Are a nice yeah. scene to choose from. Uh, next will be uh, the Brave, and inside the vault is a photo of the portrait of, that was in the movie, their their family portrait. So that's in there. Um, and then the next one is Ratatouille, the scene from Ratatouille. And this is my favorite one. Oh, I, I, love love this, I love this one a lot, too. It's very similar to the Pixar Countdown pin. Uh, yeah. this, one, this one's in color, but it's the scene where he walks up on the rooftop for the first time and sees the Eiffel Tower which is yeah. great. And then the last one is, I'm not sorry, no, there's still more. Um, that last one. Uh, the next one is up, item number six, and it is the scene where Carl 
and Mr. Fregrinson and Doug and Kevin, the bird, uh, is uh, holding, is walking in the woods, and you see the uh, the, the house and the balloons. Uh, you see the string. You don't actually see the house and the balloons. So they're right. walking, and Mr. Fregrinson is not very happy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one is Inside Out, and it is a scene where Joy is trying to make sadness happy and she's like she's mm-hmm. forcing a smile and she doesn't look like she's into it that much no not at all <laughs> not at all no <laughs> and the last one in this set is the incredibles which is it's very if if you ever seen the end credits of the movie the incredibles they have like these cartoonish uh artistic style to them and mm. that is uh and you see dash violet and mr incredible on there so mm. all of those are limited edition size, seven fifty with a retail price of fifteen ninety nine. I don't think I'll go after any of these pins. I'm not. I'm not a fan of any of these, honestly. I um yeah, same with me except for the red too. You and I probably will get that one. I, I do like that pin a lot. Okay, awesome. Uh, item number nine. This is the one I'm collecting. I'm gonna go after this one. Uh, the Pixar, the Pixar, the Pixar Party lamp standee. So uh, so right now it is under a black background. You have the lamp. The, the famous Pixar land on top of the famous Pixar ball. And mm-hmm. on the bottom, it says Pixar party, but you can put down the Pixar party stand and it's an actual uh, a sign. You can put down the Pixar party sign and then it turns into an actual stand, yeah. which is awesome. I think this is going to be a tough one, Matt, because really? it's, LA, it's LA 500 mm. and a lot of people are liking this pin, but it's I, I'm going to put I'm going to put in for it. I, I, yeah, so am I. I mean, it doesn't hurt to put in for pins that you want. So yeah. uh, this was like definitely being my number two. I'm definitely picking up as well. I yeah. love that pin so much. I really like it. Uh, next, item number 10 is the Buzz Lightyear Concept 2 on a card. Pin set limit edition of 500 retail price, $14.99. So basically, it's going through the stages, excuse me, on a, on a, on a card. It's going through the stages of animation of Buzz Lightyear, and the two pins that looks like they're giving us is the two in the middle. So yeah. it looks like before Buzz Lightyear end up being Buzz Lightyear, there's two variations of it. One, he looks like he's in a red spacesuit. The other one looks like he's in a purple spacesuit, mm-hmm. and those are the ones that actually depends what it looks like. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pretty neat. Yeah, it is is really neat. Uh, item number eleven. This is another set that I really, yeah. really like. It is, it's a long name, too. It's called yes. They're Just Using the Same Actor Over and Over. What kind of cut rate production is this mystery set? Yeah. Woo! That was a lot. Uh, so basically, those who are very into Pixar like I am, you know that John Ratzenberg has a voice appearance in every single Pixar movie. And so, to, and so therefore, that he has a mystery pin set of most of the, the actors that he is uh, portraying in the movie. Right now, we have photos of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pins, but it is a total of 16 pins in the collection, so we're missing half of them. Which makes sense because yep. he, there's about 14, 15, 16 Pixar movies and he's yeah. voiced in every one of them. So, but... Uh, the I re- think the other, the other ones that were uh, probably, we probably don't see are probably the Chaser LE pens. Yes, and I, they, these are limited edition, uh, a, limited, a limited release and yeah. pens and then there's also limited edition Chasers. Uh, so you get two in a box and they're nineteen ninety nine each. I think it's a great mystery set. I love how John Ratzenberg is in every Pixar movie. I think this this set kind of dis- like kind of distinguishes that uh, very well. Yeah, I, I really do like this set. I'm probably gonna get a few boxes myself. I think I'm gonna try to get maybe two. If I kind of get enough money, I get maybe get three. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah but ba- basically, it's just a, a like a silhouette image of the actor of the character that he voiced in that particular movie. So that is cool. Um, next one, item number 12, is the Monsters, Inc. Jumbo Pin, which is a really nice pin. I'm not sure if I'll go mm-hmm. after it, but it is a uh, it's a jumbo pin of uh, uh, Boo's door, uh, the pink with flowers on it, on the uh, the Monsters, Inc. contraption, and looks like the, the light is on. And then you can open the door, and there's Sully uh, holding a teddy bear while Boo is in her bed. So that is a nice scene. Limited edition size, three hundred retail price, fifty nine ninety nine. I think it's a little bit too pricey for me, but I think it's a great pin otherwise. It is a nice jumbo pin, but I'm probably gonna opt out of that one. Yeah, I agree. Um, 
Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, Next. man. <laughs> Moving on. I'm number 13, the Pixar Supo, Super Jumbo Pin. Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow. That's one. That's one hell of a pin, Ryan. It is. Oh, I man. think I'm a sparge on it. I, I don't think, know. I know. I'm, I'm, it's limited edition size, 500. Retail price, $79.99. And it is a hefty price for me, but it is one hell of a pin. I'm going to try to describe it the best I can. Um, it looks like any – it's like, like one giant amazing chaser pin. It looks like there's no yeah. color to it. I don't know if they're going to be adding color eventually. It doesn't say it's a, it's a base metal. I, I just don't know if there's going to be color to it. But uh, this could, these all these designs are, are, of course, are not final until we actually see them. But yeah. it has, has every major Pixar character representing every Pixar movie. So we have the good dinosaur. We have we have Mike. We have uh, is Sully in here? I don't, I don't see Sully. No, I don't see. Really? Uh, yeah, actually, I don't see him. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there's no Sully, but you have Mike. You have Woody and Buzz. You have Trixie, Wally, and Eve. Uh, you have Squishy, Lightning McQueen, Car- Carl, Mr. Fredrickson, Nemo, and Dory. Uh, the octopus from Finding Dory. We we have no idea who this character is, but he's no. in this pin. Uh, you have Flick from A Bug's Life. It, uh, you have Joy and Sadness. Wow, this is one great pin. If it you is guys, beautiful. If you guys are, you know, on the, if you guys are listening to the podcast, if you have any time, go check out the YouTube channel and watch the video and see this pin for yourself, or go on the website and look at this pin on the uh, Pixar 30 anniversary uh, registration article. And this is this is a great pin. It is. It's a great pin. Beautiful. Uh, uh, yeah, so limited edition size 500, retail price 79.99. Moving on to item number 14, Andy's Toy Box Set is a pin of four, limited edition size 300, retail price 99. Nine, 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 wow, I can't even say. Nine hundred dollars. Yeah, ninety nine. Wow, not. It's it's a hundred bucks. It's a hundred. <laughs> yeah, I can't even say it's a hundred bucks. It's a it's a really nice design. Um, it's a it's a four pin set. One with uh, um, the penguin. What's his name? Squeak is Mr. Squeakers. Yeah. Uh, what Squeak. Is, Squeaky, Squeaky, right? Squeakies. Yeah, Squeaky were holding a microphone. No, Wheezy. Wheezy, wow. Why were we uh, uh, way off? Squeakers. Uh, yeah, Squeakers, yeah. Wheezy holding a microphone. Um, Rex in playing video games with his, uh, um, looks like in a space helmet. Uh, Miss Bo Peep with her sheep. And uh, the goggles. And, yeah. But in inside the eyeglass of the goggles, you see Woody, which is really nice. That's and it's cool. and it's all in this uh, Andy's toy box packaging, which I think you know what they've always trying to do is they're putting the package as part of the design to make it look like a really nice pin set, which is awesome. Uh, again, retail price a uh, hundred dollars, and ad- edition size three hundred. Uh, moving on, I number fifteen, the Pixar Shorts box set. As a pin, I really like this. One. I really do like this one too. I don't know if I like every single pin, but um, limited edition size three hundred, retail price uh, one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Uh, features very uh, various scenes from Pixar Shorts. Um, one of the very first one looks like with a B. Uh, and uh, I, I forgot what these uh, some of these are called. I know the one in the middle is Mr. Lava. It's the scene at the very end. This one aired before um, the in, uh, Inside Out. And that, the other one is uh, For the Birds, uh, which is another funny Pixar show which aired before Monsters, Inc., if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And you have the Sanjay Super Team, which aired before... Um, the Good Dinosaur. And that was a, it's a nice uh, to see that they have a pin for that as well. Um, and then you have the bunny and the musician aired before Wally. And then uh, I think in the clouds, I'm not familiar mm-hmm. which one that's or for the clouds, something like that. And I forgot which one that aired. I think this may be before up or the one before up. I'm not sure, but yeah. it's a nice pin set. Partly um, cloudy, it's called. Oh, there you go. Partly cloudy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but yes, I really do like this set. I'm not sure if I would go after it, 100. Yeah, percent But I don't uh, think I will. I do like that this set exists, though. Yeah. Uh, moving on, number sixteen, probably my least favorite set out of all of them. But there's one pin here that I love. Okay, all right. Uh, so this is called the Pixar. Can you guess which one? Uh, I will after I say the title. All right, yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, item number sixteen, Pixar Villains box set, a set of six pins, uh, edition size three hundred, retail price one hundred thirty nine dollars. Basically featuring the villains of the various Pixar movies. Uh, one is 
uh, Al's toy box. It says lowest prices in town. Everything for a buck, buck, buck. You have Mr. Water News. Uh, holding a clipboard, uh, Monsters, Inc., We Scare Because We Care. We have Doris, I believe her name, Dolores, Dor- Doris, uh, holding Nemo in a bag, saying fishy, fishy, fishy. Darla. Darla, that's it, man, I'm getting these names wrong. Um, you have Syndrome and his uh, robot um, pin, and it says, when, when, and when everyone's super, no one will be. You have the villain from Up with his... Um, Blimp in the background saying the spirit of adventure. And you have the a really interesting pin, one, the villain from Brave. You have like the actual human uh, in like, silhouette in blue. And then you have the bear. It looks like, that's, it looks like he's inside the bear. And it says, yeah. men the bond torn by pride. I mm-hmm. believe that's what it says. Um, I'm going to guess. Let me see. Which pin, which pin will speak to Ryan? I'm going to say the uh, Alice Toy Box pin. Yep. Yeah? You like, you Everything know. for a buck, buck, buck. <laughs> you just like it because he's a chicken suit? Uh, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. But it, it is a six pin set. I don't think I'll go after these. I'm not a fan of these, uh, unfortunately. Um, again, limited edition size, 300 point, yeah. yeah, yeah. The price is $140 or $139 is pretty pricey myself. Yeah. Uh, on number 17, the Pixar, the Pizza Planet truck box set. Retail uh, retail price a hundred dollars. Uh, edition size three hundred. I really do like this set. I'm not sure if it's worth the hundred dollar price point, but it features. Um, if you don't know, Pixar has uh, cars, uh, the Pizza Planet truck in, and all of its Pixar movies hidden somewhere in the movie and so they uh, are showcasing them in pins and so they have the one in Monsters Inc which is in front of uh, where Randall eventually ends up uh, thrown away you have a scene from Cars 2 where he's just chilling watching the um, watching the can- the fans you have a scene where uh, in Wally where Eve is searching for items and she scans over the Pizza Planet truck and then in Brave where there is a carving of the Pizza Planet truck uh, from the old lady who is carving it so that's a really nice set I really do like that these they're showcased and um, at, again limited edition size 300 retail price $100 uh, next item number 18 is probably my favorite one of my favorite sets. I don't know if it's worth the price point, but in limited edition, it's called Pixar Movie Quotes Box Set, um, and it's uh, edition size 300 retail price, $120, and I love this set so much. It's under the yeah, uh, nice. the, the Pixar Animation Studios with the brick. So if you ever if you ever seen the Pixar Studios in California, you un- you go undergo the sign and, and the, there's brick walls. So it looks like uh, so within those brick walls, you see. Uh, certain parts of the movie so they're showcasing Woody and Buzz when they're flying in the air in the first movie saying this is falling with style you have the squid from Finding Nemo saying oh you guys got made me ink and you have Edna Mold from The Incredibles the scene where she's beating up Mr. Elast- uh, Girl, and it's, it's uh, pull yourself together you have another scene from The Incredibles uh, from Frozone when he's arguing with his wife on where his super suit was. Really funny scene. It says, Honey, yeah. where's my super suit? And a very emotional scene from Inside Out. Uh, Take her to the moon for me, okay? That's that's a, such a sad scene. Yeah. Um, but, I feel like that pin is going to have a high retail or secondary market value. Oh, I, I agree. Because there's not there's not a Bilbo pins to begin with. Or Bing Bong, uh, sorry. Bing Bong Bing pins Bong, to yeah. begin with. Um, so this set is 300. I really do like this. I'm not, I think I'm more like the, the, tor- like the, the Woody and Buzz and the inside out pin. Like I like them separately rather than mm. getting the whole set. Right. But again, uh, edition size 300, retail price $129. Uh, item number 19, the Pixar Animation Studios frame set, which is really cool. So you have the, uh, the letter P I X A R and the letter P is looks like it's in a costume of Woody. The letter I is in a costume of uh, Mr. Incredible. Uh, the X is the bow and arrow from Brave. The letter A looks like the, in a costume of, um, what is his name? Uh, the little kid from... Uh, 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 yeah. Um, uh, Carl, Carl. Carl, yeah. And then the it. R is in the <clears throat> silhouette of Remy the Rat. And so you have Pixar, then you, and then underneath it it says Animation Studios, and then there's a large pin set, so there's brick around it, and then there's also in this frame set, and in the, within the frame it says uh, park, uh, Pixar Party 30. Um, so yes, that is edition size, 150 retail price, 
$265. I don't think it's worth the, the price point, though. Mm-hmm. Really. That's, yeah, that's too much. It's a nice pin. For me. Yeah, again, yeah. for me, yeah. I think it's a little bit too much for me, uh, but I do like the set in general. Um, yeah. And then uh, two more to go. Uh, item number 20 is the Pixar Party Countdown Series Frame Set Edition Size 15. Isn't that crazy? That is a low size. Um, retail price $400. It is every pin in uh, the Countdown Series. And what's really nice about this with this fret is this for us anyway, we get to see what the pins look like as the, as we're getting near to um, yep. April, because we didn't know what the pins look like until we get like that, uh, that, that flyer um, right, inside right. look. So now we get to see what the rest of the set looks like, which looks really awesome. And basically it's every uh, pin in the Pixar countdown series, as well as the new one that's, that will be released at the event featuring the good dinosaur. And uh, so it's around, it's within the frame and it has like the wording that like the adventure heroes toy speed screams friendship phrases that's all over the the, the Pixar party um, poster and in the middle it says Pixar party 30 um, 1986 to 2006 and beyond and it's within that frame um, I really do like this frame I wish I could make it my own because I and I yeah. buy these pins individually so if if you're not buying these individually. And uh, you want to try to get this set? I it's fifteen is a low number. Mm-hmm. It's a very low number. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna sell all those though. Really? You don't think? Uh, all I don't 15? think. Cause last last time they had frame pin sets like this too, and they were still remaining at the end. It's because it's a high price point. But it is a high. I could floor. be wrong for this one because it's very popular. Yeah, I mean, again, a lot of, not a lot of people are able to get out and go and get these pins uh, as frequently as I do, or as many people do anyway. Um, because it is four hundred dollars, it is a large price point. Yep. Um, and last but not least, item. This is item number one hundred and one. So we went from item number twenty yeah. to one hundred and one. So I don't know if there's it's like there's eighty more to go from yeah. <laughs> uh, later down the line. But it's it's the the countdown pin, the Pixar countdown series, the Good Dinosaur is a final pin in the collection. Retail price uh, fifteen ninety nine. 700 uh, edition size 750 it features a good dinosaur with a green um tint to it and it says and as as always as the count up pin it's a celebration pixar 2016 and those are all the pins in the catalog and that has been fun segment with matt man that was a mouse a a A lot lot of pins there a lot of pins my god but a lot of great pins uh, I definitely. It's gonna be a great event. It's gonna be a great event. I'm looking. I'm highly looking forward to it. I can't wait to. It's my first penny event. I can't. I can't wait that this is gonna be a Pixar theme. But that is all I have for you this week, Ryan. I am beat. <laughs> yeah, well, you oh, went man. through a lot there. It was I a did. Nice, uh, big episode. Lots yes. of pin news and uh, park happenings. But uh, I think that'll do it for yeah. episode 39. 39. Thanks everyone yeah. for uh, listening and watching. Yeah, and then uh, 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 we have a lot of new content coming to the YouTube channel. I I have uh, easily I have a, a lot of videos lined up for um, for YouTube, and so hopefully maybe I might be able to do a special thing around it uh, just to celebrate that we have so much content to use from. Maybe I might be able to. Uh, do like a little special event out of it. So who knows, but stay tuned. We'll keep you more informed about that later, but definitely a lot more coming to the YouTube channel as well. Very cool. All right. Well, that will do it. I hope everyone has a good week and we will be back again next week. See ya. See ya.